Can AI rewrite itself to sentience? Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. My name is Chris Kalabukas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep, deep, deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking AI, startups, and the future, not necessarily those and not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you'll be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts. I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, there's a lot of talk about AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. General Intelligence, not Artificial Intelligence, AI, but Artificial General Intelligence. And Artificial General Intelligence is where the AI basically becomes sentient, becomes alive, can actually think for itself, can actually do anything like right now what we get with AI with generative AI is if you think about it I mean one of the biggest misconceptions about generative AI is that generative AI is some kind of brainchild wonder thing right it's some amazing breakthrough in technology and the reality is it's not really a breakthrough in technology as much as it is a breakthrough in processing power right because you have to think of generative AI as a uber autocorrect. And you're probably thinking to yourself, what do you mean uber autocorrect? I mean, I understand autocorrect. Autocorrect does it all wrong all the time. Whenever I try to type something in my autocorrect, it always comes up with the wrong word. Well, think of generative AI, auto G, uh, Cl chat GPT, Claude, Perplexity, all of those chatbots that are out there as a hugely sophisticated autocorrect. Because what it does it is it basically goes back and looks at words and phrases and sentences and paragraphs. And it looks at historical words, sentences, and paragraphs that other human beings have created or even AI has created. And it looks back at those paragraphs and words and sentences and puts them together in a similar way to make it appear intelligent. So when you ask it a question, it goes back and puts together a set of words, one right after the other, to make it appear that it's responding to you as if a human were responding to you. But basically all it's doing is it's going back and looking at its massively huge database and processing it through to try and return to you a response that answers your question or responds to your chat. It is basically a very sophisticated autocorrect. There's no brains back there. What there is, is tons of data and tons of processing. There's no mind. There's no intelligence. In fact, they shouldn't even call it AI. <laughs> they should call it Uber autocorrect or something to that effect. So the, the concept that AI can actually do something about rewriting itself into sentience, because I've heard some people talk about this, and this is the thing, right? I'm a futurist, but I'm an optimistic futurist. There's so many futurists out there that are so pessimistic about where things are going and how AI and AGI are ba is basically going to destroy the world. First, it's going to destroy jobs, then it's going to destroy the world, and then we're going to need all this, and, and nobody will be working anymore because AGI will take over and it's going to be a Terminator-like thing. That's not going to happen, folks, because if you really think about it, it's autocorrect. It's a super sophisticated autocorrect right now. It appears to have intelligence. It looks like it has intelligence because we are anthropomorphizing it. We are giving it that sense that we think it's intelligence based on what we're looking at it. We're thinking it's intelligent when it really isn't. It's no more intelligent than random words being thrown together in a correct way. This is why it hallucinates. This is why it makes mistakes all the time. It is autocorrect, sophisticated autocorrect. When you think of it that way, then do you think it can really rewrite itself to sentience? So let's say we took one of these AIs and we told it to make itself more intelligent, we, to rewrite itself, to go back into its own code and fix itself. What do you think would happen? Well, they actually tried that. They tried taking AI and having AI talk to AI. AI talked to itself to try and get it to become more intelligent, to rewrite itself. And guess what happened? It got even more <laughs> gobbledygook. It got even more messed up, even more hallucinations. Garbage in, garbage out. 
the thing is, is that we are the ones who believe that things like ChatGPT and Claude appear intelligent because of the way they respond to us. We give, we ascribe the intelligence to it. But in reality, what's back there is nothing more than a really good guess of what the next word should be in this sentence. Just like autocorrect, it's a guess of what the next word should be. And sure, it's a, sometimes it's a really, really good guess, and other times it's a terrible guess. But it's all a guess based on what's there before. So when you consult, and this is what I've said before, when you consult AI, what you're doing is you're consulting the sum total of knowledge from other human beings and other AI that have been pushed into this massively huge database of responses. And what it's doing is it's pulling together bits and pieces of all this database and it's presenting it to you in a way that it feels answers your question. Any intelligence that we ascribe to it, we are doing ourselves. It's not intelligent in any way, shape, or form. We think it's intelligence. We call it intelligent, but it's not intelligent. So having it rewrite itself, doubtful. We need a different, new breakthrough in that space. Generative AI in the state that it's in, as a sophisticated autocorrect, will never rewrite itself to sentience. What happens after, after that though, it's up in the air. It could conceivably do it, but where we are right now, it's not going to do it anytime soon. We need a new breakthrough in a new space. That's it for me for today. See you next time, and until then, don't forget to think future.